Hi everybody, hope you're all okay. Uh, uh, this afternoon I just want to do a, a little bit about um, nurses, the, the jobs that they do in the NHS. Well, everybody within the NHS, the, everybody that takes part, it's a, it's a team effort really. But it, it comes after I'd seen a, a, one of these phoning shows, I forget which one it was now, uh, uh, but I saw a clip yesterday of it. Some woman had, had rang in basically saying that uh, nurses that are on 27,000 it, is too much money, basically, for what they do. Sort of incensed me quite a, quite a little bit. <laughs> Um, for someone, uh, my wife works in in the NHS. She's not she's not a fully fledged nurse. She's a she's a healthcare assistant at the top of her band. Um, but I just wanted to say, um, healthcare assistants who who do a lot of the harder tasks are on nine pound fifty an hour. That's that's the starting rate. Um, my wife's at the top of her ba of band too, and she gets ten pound ninety an hour um, as a healthcare assistant, and they're responsible for things like patients' personal care, their mobility, toileting, observations, nutrition, hydration, blood sugar assessments, risk assessments, pressure care, cleaning cleaning them up if they have any accidents or anything like that. Pretty horrendous jobs that many of us wouldn't choose to do. Uh, especially on that sort of money, um, uh, but the, it's not. As my wife's always said, it's not about the money anyway. Yes, they could do to have more money. It would be nicer to them to be um, rewarded with with better pay. But the the job is about caring. You don't go into that job solely about uh, trying to get money. You know, nurses will sometimes do those above tasks as well but they're mostly responsible for the running of the wards admin uh, discharge of patients obviously giving out medication uh, they deal with social service uh, planning and liaison and those sort of things that's the, 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 theirs is a more responsible role you know they take they take the heat for anything that goes wrong and whatnot and you can imagine you know everything has to be Hunky dory in the hospital. Lit litigation is one of the biggest fears. That's why there's so much paperwork. Uh, it, it's a massive um, situation. And the start, yeah, the starting salary for a full-time nurse is twenty-seven thousand, uh, but it can go from twenty-seven thousand to thirty-two thousand. Um, the the worst part of the, sh the the job, I'm told, is is the sh shortage of staff and the pressure that that puts them all under irrespective of whether they're a nurse whether they're a cleaner whether they're a porter um or a healthcare it's it's that pressure that trying to give care to the patients uh, but not having the right amount of people to do it and cover all those other tasks that you've got to do you know the paperwork and everything to cover to cover your ass and everything um it's quite shocking. The the cleaners are on nine fifty per hour. The porters are on nine fifty per hour. So you can see that the, the healthcare is basically on the same as um, cleaners and and the porters. And that's not demeaning those those other jobs. But again, you've got to say um, they all should get more money, irrespective of what they're on. Um, but like. Uh, you know, you you can uh, you could say, well, most of those healthcare's could go and be a cleaner, but then can cleaners go and do all those other things? Shouldn't there be uh, a, a a bit of difference there? Um, but the trouble is, if the, if they made a change there, what they would do, they would reduce the cleaners' wage as opposed to putting up the the healthcare's. Um, but in my opinion, they all need to have a decent pay rise. To be fair. Um, the job can be very rewarding. Um, you can, when, when you see patients that come in that have been poorly, and and when they get better, it's a real rewarding, and it gives you a real boost inside. That, that's that's great. 
often it can be the opposite way around people sometimes come in obviously and they don't get better and and that that can affect you you've got to you've got to try and rise above it and not let it affect you but we're all human beings and it, and it does have an effect on you and it can affect your mental health you know you, you can really it can really get you down sometimes and so when people are going onto these radio stations with their opinions of what the salaries should be uh, of these people that care for us, look after our parents when they're in hospital, our grandparents, often saving their lives, you know, and, and caring for them through horrendous things like cancer and heart conditions and bad falls and, and you know, I don't even think there's a price you can put on what they should be paid. Um, it's it's clear to me it has to be funded properly. We need to fund the health service like many other countries in Europe do. They they fund uh, their, their health services far better than we do. And it is a massive issue. But yeah, I, I felt I needed to come on here and say, it, it's like at the moment that Unison are going to be uh, balloting at some point for strike action. I think the Royal College and Nursing are all on with it at the moment. Um, but a lot of those staff who feel angry at, at their wages, and, and I know my wife's one, she's torn because, you know, she's, she, she could be a fighter, she, she, wants, she wants to fight for, but, but she also, at the back of her mind, is she doesn't want to leave her, pe her patients uncared for and so she's got this dilemma going on in her head she's got an husband like me who believes that yeah you've got to cast that aside because I, I take the view and I know not everybody takes this view but if I was a patient in hospital and I was dying I would still want my wife out there on that picket line irrespective of what's happening to me because it's the bigger picture for the future you know it, these people need to reward it. The government rely on them feeling guilty and not want, and and so they pay them this pittance. Now, I, 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 yeah, leave leave skeleton crews, and that would obviously happen anyway. But yeah, I I, I, I hate to think of these nurses, doctors, and all these cleaners and parts and everybody feeling guilty about going on strike to get a fair pay. No. You don't have to feel guilty. Many people in the country feel like I do. Yes, I know there's a lot of people that don't, but they don't matter. So anyway, so solidarity to all those that work with the NHS. And we're very proud of you. Well done, everybody.